Good morning, guys. Bill McMillan here with you on NDWX.com. Tuesday morning and snow showers are flying across central Indiana. Temperatures continue to fall. Windchill values already are uh, well below zero across central portions of the state, and uh, conditions are only going to get colder as we go through the next 24 hours or so. Before our second cold front, the true Arctic cold front, passes later on this afternoon and evening, Temperatures today should rise to a balmy 15, 16 degrees or so across central Indiana, including Indianapolis. But that second front passes later on this afternoon and evening, and temperatures will plummet thereafter. We should settle into the uh, zero range or slightly below zero just before midnight from the city and points north in terms of the absolute temperature. Windchill values obviously will be much colder by this point in time. As you see here, you know, windchill values anywhere from 10 to 20 below zero expected this evening. Only going to get worse from there. 30 to 40 below zero wind chills expected from the city and points north during the day on Wednesday. Wednesday continues to look like the worst of the days with this cold air outbreak. Uh, wind chill values approaching 50 below zero across northern Indiana. Got to take this stuff seriously, folks. Obviously, this is dangerously cold uh, stuff, so uh, definitely take it seriously. We'll begin to slowly moderate during the day on Thursday, but as you can see, most of Thursday as well, featuring wind chills well below zero before uh, some milder conditions will build in here for the upcoming weekend. Now, before that, though, a disturbance will dive to the southeast in that Thursday afternoon, Thursday evening time frame, spreading a swath of accumulating snow through the heart of central Indiana during that time. Uh, you know, still a bit too early to fine tune the numbers, but we'll do that later on this evening. Early thinking somewhere between two, three inches possible with this system across central portions of the state. And then our airflow switches around to the southwest, likely over a, a light snowpack at least, and, and certainly after the, the ground has essentially been frozen solid with this uh, cold air mass that we're dealing with. When we bring in this milder conditions, these milder conditions over the weekend and on into early parts of next week, you know what's going to follow. Areas of fog, drizzle. Uh, so certainly going to feel better across central Indiana over the weekend, but the weather likely will be uh, kind of just gloomy with the fog, drizzle, light rain developing on Super Bowl Sunday itself. And uh, a rather unsettled and active pattern looms as we move into uh, early February. Eventually, I think this uh, cold pattern overall returns after a bit of transience here over the next you know, five to seven days or so. So we'll finish things off by taking a look at the European Ensemble, and it kind of illustrates that point uh, pretty well here, that uh, cold air mass departs over the late week period, and it's replaced with uh, transient warmth. But as we continue to advance this into the beginning stages of the second week of February, you see the drill here with the cold returning, and more importantly, uh, the higher heights developing across the top here would ind indicate that blocking will return. So a very stormy pattern is expected as we go into February and one that eventually turns colder than average again as well after the potentially uh, warmer open to the month. Guys, make it a great Tuesday. Stay safe out there. We'll have another update for you later on this afternoon and evening. We'll talk with you soon.